Well, former Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett writes in the Wall Street Journal, quote, the U.S. and Israel need to take Iran on directly and make the Ayatollahs pay for sowing chaos through their Hamas, Hezbollah, and Houthi proxies. Joining me now to discuss is Richard Goldberg, Senior Advisor for the Foundation for Defense of Democracies and former White House NSC Director. Good to see you, Richard. Thank you for being here. Um, well, here's what he says, the former PM. He says, the evil empire of Iran must be brought down. Can we do it? We absolutely can. And we were actually on the way to doing that uh, as of the end of 2020. Remember, uh, Iran came into 2021 with just $4 billion in accessible foreign exchange reserves. It was on the retreat. Uh, instability was on the rise inside the country because of economic and political pressure. Military deterrence had been restored after the killing of Soleimani. The Israelis had then taken out the godfather of the nuclear weapons program as well, Mohsen Fakhrizadeh. But then maximum pressure disappeared. It was replaced with maximum concessions, maximum deference. And so we need to get back to that posture of putting Iran on defense, not allowing Iran to play offense. You know, I, I want to talk about the maximum deference or appeasement that we get from the Biden administration. But uh, the people of Iran, I, I just can't imagine that the people of Iran support this regime and what it's doing around the world, turning it into a pariah state. There was a, there was a time when, when Iran was a very prosperous country where it had a strong entrepreneurial class. Uh, yes, it had a dictator who had his really some awful sides to him, but it, it seemed to be on the road to getting better. Now it it's just has no road at all in front of it. Are there people willing to help the United States take it down, like we saw in Eastern Europe uh, at the end of the Cold War? Well, this is a country that is relatively young, uh, and the young population is very pro-Western. Uh, they hate, despise their regime. Uh, and remember, this is just a little bit over a year after a national uprising began that almost took down this regime uh, because of how they treat women and the killing of a young woman named Masa Amini. And there are protests going on every day throughout Iran. We don't talk about them anymore. They don't make the front pages of the newspapers anymore. Mm. But there is absolutely a desire among the population to see that regime fall. We can help them try to achieve their aspirations. We shouldn't obviously uh, look at an invasion like Iraq. I think that would be a disaster for the United States or right. the Middle East. But if you look at the Reagan model that you're bringing up, yes. the Cold War model of political pressure, economic pressure, covert activities, military deterrence, we can absolutely uh, show this regime the same door we showed the Soviet Union. All right. Well, let's let's talk about the maximum appeasement of the Biden administration. We only have about 45 seconds, but this guy Rob Malley, who was Biden's uh, envoy to Iran, he was suspended. Suspicions that he was uh, sharing documents with Iran that he shouldn't have been. Maybe about the security of Israel. Who knows what? He had a lot of ties with the left wing uh, in the Middle East. Is is that group still have influence at the State Department? You've only got about 30 seconds. Go ahead. Listen, the, the Mali policies of appeasement are still the policy of this administration. I think one thing that people need to understand is that even though we're living in this post-October 7th world, our policies are still stuck in October 6th. $10 billion being made available, mm. oil shipments continuing to China, no snapback of a U.N. sanctions resolution, trying to avoid pressure on the Houthis in Yemen, in Iraq, uh, other yeah. proxies of Iran. Yeah. So let's understand that maximum appeasement is still in effect, and, and we need congressional work. legislation to lock down their that's resources. Right. We need something that's going to work. Richard Goldberg, thank you very much. More Kudlow after this.